so to change your font on your iPod um, I think this might work with any iPod but to be safe use I use an um, iPod video um, so get iPod wizard version 1.3 in my opinion it's the best one to use and I use it in this tutorial just to make it easier on you and yes iPod wizards they're like all different I know from experience of downloading them so what I did is I went to iPod when I opened up iPod wizard and load iPod firmware if you don't have iPod wizard uh, I'll send you a link for this one so then you click it it'll take a couple seconds and these are the pictures and stuff like that that's to change like themes kind of and so what you want to do is click on the fonts tab you'll see the this type of crap you don't have anything to do with it just click OTF fonts you're gonna click on that tab then after that you want to go to index this index not that one click down and then click one and then you wait until your font loads this is the f current font the custom font that I have right now so like this is doing it could is going to look like oops I I realized that I clicked save font but now I have to wait a couple seconds cuz like I have this program and another program running at the same time so it's making my computer slow. So you click make font. So you're just gonna choose you know whatever you want. Um, I use if you want my font I use this one. Um, hold on, let me try to find it here. Hmm. I don't know exactly where mine is. Huh. So, I don't know. You can just search through here. After you're done, I'm going to click cancel, but you click OK. Find out the size that you want. I I use on mine, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, it'll say 18. I use 18. That's, like, the maximum size to use, but you can use anything shorter than 18, but don't go over, don't, like, 20. I tried and it kind of filled up my whole iPod which isn't good so after you set the index to one and that you you made your font then you want to press write to iPod it will take a couple seconds and after it says successfully done you want to click the eject button this is important because like even when changing your background this could like um <coughs> it will mess up like you won't be able to see your songs your videos or anything on your iPod so it's important to click eject and when right here when it doesn't say your iPod name it will um that's like that's good you it so it will say unmounted and you're gonna unplug it from your computer and it will restart your iPod one it will, that's gonna take like probably a minute and um, after you're done you'll see your font and if you made um, a background which is in my other tutorial it will teach you how to do it so if you have any questions on how to do this just send me a comment or if it's important and like this messed up your iPod I could probably help you send me uh, a message maybe okay subscribe